Culture Pavilion in Davos. Really pleased to be joined by Mariam Jam. She's the CEO of Spot On Global Solutions. Tell me, the fourth industrial re revolution, what role do you see Africa, women in Africa, playing in that? Wow, I mean, that's, a, that's an amazing question. We have a massive opportunity for women and girls in the next like 10, 20 years uh, in Africa. And uh, I'm so pleased about the book uh, Professor Shua brought. Uh, I think it will give an opportunity for the first time for to young girls and women across Africa to start designing products and services for the first time. Because we have women coders in Africa, we have women who are computer scientists and they are really technology savvy. But having a book like this endorses what we've been talking about as you know, pioneers of tech in Africa for a very long time. So I'm very pleased with the book. So tell me a little bit about what you're doing, for example, in Africa with these women and girls. So my work, you know, as somebody who never had access to school, I didn't have a formal school. I, didn't, I never attended school until the age of 16 where I was in France and I had to have a, a kind of a fast track education. And I think what is important right now is that technology doesn't have any borders or class or systems. We can all have access to it. And I think once you start learning how to code, meaning learning the language of coding from learning how Java works or PHP or HTML, then I think you can, you can start changing your life. You have life opportunities. I think what it means to me is that a young girl sitting in Kampala today dreaming to have a company, a young Senegalese girl dreaming to have her e-commerce site because her the market is, uh, is agriculture, so that's, that's, what, that's what the way, that's how she could survive. Mm -hmm. But if she could combine agriculture and technology, then I, I know that she would be prosperous. So it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me to see that today that, you know, you don't have to come to Europe like I did, because I was sexually trafficked to come to Europe. So I didn't have to, they don't have to suffer like I did to, to be a CEO of a tech company. So I think that's, it's quite important that where we're going right now with the women in tech in Africa is that they understand the, the game, they understand how to code. Uh, the languages before it was more for a, a, a privileged demography. But now, you know, you can sit in Kampala and knowing and know P Python. You can have access to Wikipedia in Senegal. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's quite important that we are moving towards uh, kind of a more, uh, not uh, fair society, mm -hmm. but, but, you know, game on. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me, how do you do it? What do you do? You go to a new city, and how do you set this up? So what I did, what I, what I, what I do, I identify digital leaders, mm -hmm. identify women who are extremely talented at, uh, you know, understanding how to code. So they had a computer scientist background anyway. So I, I get those those women into uh, tech hubs, or I part, I collaborate with uh, tech hubs that exist already in Africa, and start mentoring them, but also telling them you can dream big. You know, you don't, we need more, you know, we have a digital leaders like Sheryl Sandberg or May Samir in Africa, mm -hmm. but we just don't have the visibility and, and, and people talking about it. So my job is to go and say, hey, come to my tech hub, show me what you can do. Go and work for Google in Senegal, mm -hmm. go and work for Facebook, do some flexi jobs for, you know, a woman in San Francisco, mm -hmm. show what you can do. And five, ten years ago, we couldn't do that. So that's what I'm pleased about. Mariam, thank you very much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion thank you so here much. in Davos, and I'm Edie Rush.